Hello and welcome back to episode 15 of this No Code series. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new shave for me. Um, today we'll be looking to enhance what we've already done on our new custom app for leave management. Let's just take a little bit of a sit rep to understand where we are at. Okay, take a breather. Right. ChatGPT is clearly having a little sleepy at the moment, so he needs a little while before he can wake up. So Chuck, we don't need you right now. Let's just let's just let's just hide Chuck right now. We don't need you right now. Okay. So yes, where we're at right now is we have created the very basics of our custom app. Um, of course, we've done all our preamble leading up to that in terms of raising ideas and getting permissions for citizen. Uh, development we're in as Emily of course and we have our basic app we have created a table that was the first thing that we did we created a table to store where our leave requests will end up with some very rudimental fields we've also off the back of that table designed a form so what the actual form of that leave request is going to look like as well as creating a record producer which eventually will be made available on a portal so essentially that is our next step but of course there's lots more steps to come lots more episodes in this series remember we've got all these different stories that which hopefully we can start to take a look at about um you know trying to trying to implement this is all about finding the limitations of what we can and cannot do as a no code developer so i'm going to start the timer and we're going to start looking at a new experience for this brand new portal. So let's start that timer and let's get going. Go! Right, so in as Emily here, we are in our App Engine studio and we're going to be creating a brand new experience. Yay! So let's choose a brand new portal. We may come back to more experiences soon, for the likes of the um, uh, the likes of the approvers, perhaps on the back end. Maybe they want a nice little workspace for them to to sort out their approvals. But yeah, let's begin. Times are ticking. Now this is actually brand new to me myself doing this, so it's going to be interesting um, what this is going to going to look like. So um, I'm going to call this a uh, vacation portal. Uh, portal to manage your holiday bookings. There we go. Your alt vacation dash portal. Sounds good to me. Admin and user seem to have access to it. So let's continue and see what it gives us. Will it give us the ability to select some kind of template? Will it start from complete scratch? Let's see. We're a citizen developer, so maybe the functionality of widgets and being able to configure things like that is going to be a bit cut down. But um, let's find out, shall we? As I smack my mic. <laughs> okay. So um, apparently a portal has been created. Brilliant. That's what done for this video. No, it's not. I've got no idea what it looks like. It's not taken us to the portal. It's just created the experience and it's created a portal, but um, we will need to do some editing. Should we just have a look at the preview and see what it looks like? So, okay, so it's got a nice little scopey doodad at the top there. And it's has immediately brought us to like a landing page with a very basic looking portal here so it's not exactly you know a copy of the likes of sp or whatever the standard is and employee center for example you've got a very 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 simple portal here so we'll be need to be doing some amendments in here for sure we need to be dropping some stuff on here so it's giving you some you know examples it looks like from the menus um an example direct action where's that going to take us um <laughs> okay, to a, a knowledge base article, it looks like. Um, the ability to report an issue. So what the hell is that going to do? That's going to do the crate incident record producer. Okay, interesting. We could look at doing something similar. 
for the likes of, um, you know, new holiday request or something. I'm going to go straight into our record producer. We've got a search up at the top, um, which presumably will be like a, um, you know, a search for anything that you include on this particular portal. We've also got some settings against the individual user, which presumably bring up like the the like the profile page preferences yeah user details that sort of thing okay well that's interesting let's see what we can achieve so if we close down that preview and start to look at the edit of the portal let's see if we can start configuring these pages as a citizen developer Right, so this is br going to bring us into the very lovely, <laughs> um, you might tell I'm being a little bit sarcastic there, um, the very lovely UI builder. So we have our pages on the left hand side here, so we've only got one page it looks like um, for the landing page. Nope, we have m multiple pages, um, these are just the, the variants for the page, interesting. So as you can tell, this is fairly new to me as well, so I haven't done too much digging into this whatsoever. With a minute left, let's just try and get to grips of this a little, because the next video we'll be looking to add bits and pieces onto our portal homepage. So we have our landing page, which we're going to use, of course, to try and do what we can. So typically on the landing page, you would have your, your kind of search box, as we've got here with the page configuration. I just give us a little bit more room there to have a look. You know, you got the introduction, your hello, and the little title um, in there as well. A search. Pff, I mean, maybe we want the search to, uh, you know, search for our previous holiday requests, maybe, or look at our schedule. Not too sure at the moment whether that will be useful. Time is up, but um, I will just finish by explaining what else we have on the page here. We don't have anything else. So typically on other portals, you'd have, you know, some buttons down here or widgets to show, um, you know, going into the likes of the catalog or looking at your requests. So we may just try and have this all in a single pane sort of thing. So we could just automatically show the record producer on here. We could have a button maybe to say um, raise a holiday request. We could do that. Um, another button to say view your schedule. I quite like that. Um, I might think about that being the, the solution, to be honest. Um, and obviously down the bottom here, you have the likes of the different contents. Um, so it will split up the structure into these individual sections here, which I'm sure we're going to go into a lot more detail um, in terms of being able to add stuff onto here, as well as uh, maybe even removing or editing. So we're not going to go right into the nitty gritty of going into too many details on here with different pages we may look into creating a brand new page perhaps for our schedule i think that's a good idea um so in the next video we will start to look at doing that so we've looks like from this episode we've, we've been able to create this basics of a portal we've understood the layout a little bit and what we've got available to us in the next video let's start to build upon it